What is going on everybody? Welcome back. MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. So this right here is the M2 MacBook Air in midnight and I want to talk about why I decided to pick up the M2 MacBook Air, specifically the base model. So this has eight gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of SSD. And because this is my main device, this is my main computer that I edit videos that you guys see here on the channel. And I wanna talk about why I decided to pick this specific model. So without further delay, let's dive right in. All right, so before I picked up the M2 MacBook Air. I was planning on getting a M1 Pro 14 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, my configuration that I was planning on was 32 gigs of RAM, four terabytes of SSD. And that's still on my list of things I need to get, but it's just not something that I absolutely need right now because I took a look at my workload and how I edit videos and uh, upload them. And it's fairly simple. It's not that excessive. Uh, I'm not recording 4K even. I'm not recording 8K, obviously. Uh, and I'm not doing too much that requires a lot of, you know, power. So M1 Pro uh, was just a little bit too much, especially after this came out, I realized that, and I didn't want to drop more than the configuration I wanted, which was like 32, 3500. Uh, so when this was announced, the M2 MacBook Air, I immediately got excited. Uh, especially because of this new midnight color, although it attracts a lot of fingerprints, like a lot. When I say a lot, it's definitely a lot of fingerprints. But this was a huge, a huge upgrade for me uh, because I've been using the 2017 MacBook Pro, the base model with eight gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. So I was already used to that configuration, but I had like an Intel i5 and it was, it was really slow. My Final Cut Pro was pretty bad. Uh, I would have to pretty much three, four streams of 1080p video on Final Cut Pro would just lag. It would crash. I would have to reload and it was pretty bad. So I decided to pick up the base M2 MacBook Air. Now you're going to ask why the base M2 MacBook Air, 256 gigs of storage isn't a lot and neither is eight gigs of RAM. Well, based on my use, I have made four three, four videos on the M2 MacBook Air, and it has taken it with a breeze. I've had absolutely no issue whatsoever uh, editing videos, three, four streams of 1080p, some B-roll, and then uh, transitions and all that stuff. No issues whatsoever. And I didn't want to upgrade because once you start adding more RAM and more storage, the price goes up and I'm already in. Uh, M1 Pro MacBook Pro territory, so I might as well upgrade to that, right? And honestly, the price, $1,199 is his base price. Uh, the education discount, 100 bucks, $1,099. So I got it for $1,099, uh, and I think it was perfect. It gets the job done. I don't need any more, that's what I realized. With the M2 MacBook Air, my workflow currently, I realized that I just don't need that M1 Pro or the M1 Max, although those were on my mind. Uh, it's been great. My usage, especially as a tech YouTuber for the past week to almost two weeks of using this device at the time of this recording has been awesome. Uh, I use this a lot. This is actually my main device for editing videos. I strictly use this just for editing videos now, whereas my MacBook Pro, I would actually end up using it for schoolwork uh, and other things. But now this is just for uh, the channel, just for video editing, uh, getting work done for the channel, whether I need to do like a to-do list or whether I need to browse the web to do some research for some of my videos or write some scripts, uh, write down some notes and everything like that. Anything related to the channel is done on the M2 MacBook Air. I strictly just exclusively use this for the channel. That's it. And it's been awesome. Uh, just daily web browsing, watching YouTube videos on this has been great. Display has been awesome, let me tell you that. Uh, I absolutely love Touch ID now because I would hate having to open up my, my computer and type in my password, but now Touch ID is just like that. If I need to change something or use a password or you know purchase something uh, through my laptop, there you go, Touch ID, I'm all set to go and it has come in super clutch. Another thing I absolutely love about this is the new design. Granted, the M1 Pro 
uh, and M1 Max MacBook Pros have new design too, and those have more ports. But for me, uh, MagSafe has been the biggest thing for me. Uh, having two USB-C ports now is also a big plus because now I charge it via MagSafe. I am a little disappointed there is no um, SIM card, or not SIM card, um, for SD card tray, but that's okay. I mean, I still just plug it in with my camera via USB-C and just transfer my files that way. But now I have two full USB-C ports that I can use on top of MagSafe, which has been a plus, but just getting rid of that wedge shape design, having just like a full like block, full straight, super thin, super light, uh, opening it has been a breeze. Display has been great. This notch right here has not annoyed me at all. Uh, but I'm really glad and I'm really happy with M2 MacBook Air. Now the whole thing about SSD, the 256 gigs of it being slower. I Look, I'll be honest with you, I don't care. I really don't mind it too much. For me, it gets the job done. I'm not diving in and doing all of those speed tests and uh, benchmarks and all of that stuff. I'm more so kind of when it comes to computers i am kind of just more like a general consumer whereas if it gets a job done for me i that's really it i'm not looking at those numbers uh especially since i'm coming from a five plus year old macbook pro i'm super happy with this i really am design of this uh just the core power of m2 and the price were the main reasons why i picked up the base macbook air as a tech youtuber I have three different, uh, when I'm recording my videos, three main different uh, angles. So that's three streams of 1080p plus my B-roll in some of my videos. And then I have transitions, effects and whatnot. And even though this doesn't have a fan, Final Cut Pro has been awesome to use. It really has been great. And I would recommend this for anyone who is starting off with uh, just light video editing. Again, like I said, my workload is not too like, extreme. So anyone who's starting off uh, making content, anyone who wants to use it for like Lightroom or some Photoshop or any college student who's getting ready for college, I think this is the perfect device. It's more than powerful, more than capable. Use it just for daily web browsing, watching videos, but then you know you have the power if you wanna do some of that creative work. M2 MacBook Air gets the job done. Uh, if you're not too stuck on the whole SSD being slower and all of that stuff, then this is the perfect uh, M2 MacBook Air. For me, I didn't really care about having it slower SSD uh, because I just, it just gets the job done for me. That's all I really care about. This M2 MacBook Pro has been one of my greatest purchases so far of this year. Some may disagree and say, why would you purchase the base model? But hey, I don't really need M1 Pro or M1 Max or any other more powerful chip as of right now. Now, once I hopefully continue to grow the channel and my workload you know, gets more extreme and I add more things, maybe up my resolution to 4K, then maybe, yes, I will end up getting a, a more powerful MacBook, MacBook Pro in that case, or just go like Mac Studio or whatever it is, iMac Pro, if that ever comes out. But for now, M2 MacBook Air has been getting the job done uh, for me and my tech YouTube channel. Definitely would recommend this for anyone who is starting off uh, making YouTube videos, starting off with you know photo editing and whatnot, or just going to college starting high school, whatever it may be. This is a great beginner's laptop to get into the Apple ecosystem. But that's really been it. Uh, I just wanted to share with you guys my experience and why I bought this specific model. If you did enjoy this video and you wanna see more videos and updates on the M2 MacBook Air, my experiences, be sure to superman that like button, comment down below, and best of all, share this video because it really does help out the channel a lot and will help push my content out to more people. Anyway, that's been it for me and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.